Thousand Oaks 27, Camarillo 24. This is a VCS Preps postgame extra. Danny Page alongside the man, the myth, the legend, the deuce, Derry Eads. Thousand Oaks with back-to-back -back home wins. We've had both games live. And how important is it for T.O. after that tough road defeat early on to really uh, show themselves to Ventura County? And they did so tonight. I think it's very important. Uh, I think it was kind of similar a little bit in the Newbury Park game. They, they got down early and they came back. They, they had their, their offense had their back to the wall for most of the game. They, were, they had to pick up you know, four really good drives to, to score. And the defense held really well when Camarillo had some really good field position the whole game. The only time they allowed some points were off of mistakes. And the Thousand Oaks offense, we've seen it two weeks now. Does it seem to you like they're starting to gel a little bit more in this whole no-huddle scheme? Yes. You know, I think the guy that really opened my eyes uh, uh, today was Austin Tunney. Yeah, he was the, great. The running back. He had some really big plays that really kind of uh, forced the Camarillo defense to change some things that they wanted to do against uh, uh, Case Cookus. And Case Cookus... He was able to run a little bit more tonight. You know, the, we saw him last week. He was hurt, and so he he showed us, hey, he's got he's got some speed, and he's got a little bit of loofness in in him that he can score. Yeah, still was just kind of shaking off that hamstring injury a little bit. So Case Cookus, a senior. What about the sophomore on the other side? The young man, Jay Constantine. I feel like we learned so much about this young man and about the Camarillo football program over the next few years tonight. I think he's tough too. He's a he's a good kid. He's got a real good arm. Sometimes he kind of uh, threw it a little bit too hard at in guys in short uh, yard situations. But and I think we saw uh, Nico Lima maybe. Uh, you know, he's a 6'3", 235 pound uh, receiver. He's going to be a guy that uh, Constantine looks for in the future. Yeah, Tostada came in as the hyped guy, but it was really Nico Lima in the end that made some big plays for Camarillo. The Scorpions come up just short, 27-24. Let's continue this post-game extra with a look at the highlights from this non-league contest. The Lancers really kept quiet until the opener at San Juan Hills, which they lost early on. Handoff. Fumble. Fumble balls on the ground. It looks like the Scorpions have it at the 11, and they do. In the county, it's tough, and here Constantine goes in, lays out the football. And they'll say it crossed the plane. Touchdown, Scorpions. The first play in uh, Lean Thousand Oaks to the win. Blitz coming, sprinting out. Now it's a throwback to Tunney. If he picks up a block, he's in, and he's in. Seven to six. The Lancers strike back. Hand off to Tunney. No, it's a reverse. Howell getting a block from his quarterback to the 20, cutting back 15. And hauled down from behind at the 13. You're still a southpaw. That's what I say. Well, that's different. For sure, it's a paw. It's a paw. Kick on the way. Kick. Yes. Good. 10 to 7. Finish in the final third of the second quarter of play. Constantine pressured a bit. A little corner oh, around. Tostado has it. The sophomore with three TD grabs on the season. And the Scorpions grab the lead, 13-10. Howell, the motion man, quieter second half from Kevin. Will they throw directly to him? Cookus, gonna be flush. Cookus should pick up the first down. And is he in? He'll be nope. just short at the one. What a run from Case Cookus. Cookus from the pistol, big blocker in front of him, gives to Tunney. Tunney weaves his way in. And it is now a two-score contest, 23 to 14. Huge field goal. The backup quarterback Rogers is a holder. Another lefty kicker, huh? Rogers does a nice job putting that one down. It's a chip shot. He just softly caresses it through the uprights. Lima will be far side with Muscarella. Constantine flushed. Tipped and intercepted. Right into the hands of the linebacker, Flynn. Flynn still going. Flynn down at the 35. First. See if the left footer can get this one off. Can does, and he hits it. 27-17, it's a two score game. Constantine throwing, caught. Touchdown, Scorpions. We're not done yet, 27-23. 
64 seconds left. Onside kick on the way. Snap it. And Ooh, that was nearly that blocked. Was close, yep. That was very close. Clock running at one second. And that is going to do yeah. it unless Camarillo picks it up. Nope. T.O. downs it and this one's done. The Thousand Oaks Lancers hang tough. They hang on. They take down this Camarillo team 27 to 24 deuce. You can't fault either team, but it was T.O. again on the night in a similar manner to last week that was just the team that made the bigger plays in the bigger situations. Here with our player of the game in the 27-24 victory, 4,000 Oaks over Camarillo, quarterback Case Cookus. You really took control of the game offensively, and you had everything in rhythm tonight, I think, Case. Um, I think uh, today we came out a little bit slow, uh, made a couple of snakes, had that fumble early, it gave him that, that seven-point lead right away. But I thought later on in the game we got in our rhythm, started to score. Um, I think we could be cleaner, um, make a couple more better plays, and, and we could be a good team this year. Talk to me about, you know, I interviewed you before you had started with the no huddle offense. Talk to me about kind of the, the groove that you're getting into that you're starting to feel offensively. Um, and I'm, I'm really starting to find it. Um, you know, I got three, three games under my belt now, um, and it's fun. It's, it's fun seeing, seeing our team on their knees, you know, tired. Uh, Cameroon had great depth, so, so they weren't as, as tired as other teams, but uh, it's fun. I, I like it a lot. Camarillo, let's talk about them. You know, that they really want to and feel they belong yeah. in this Marmani League. Do you think that performance showed that, that they can yeah. play with, with these programs in years going forward? Oh, yeah. They're, they're a great team. They stepped up big today. I thought uh, their quarterback and their wide receiver both, I think, underclassmen. They played great. Um, I think they deserve to play in the Marmani League with us. All right, last thing. There, there's that run of games, Nordoff, Oaks, Moore Park. But you have the big one next week. You have West Ranch. Is that kind of like your final tune-up before the real decider in this season? Yeah, that's, that's a huge game right there. Um, I feel like uh, we're still making a lot of mistakes, um, both sides of the ball. But um, like our coach says, if, if we cut down the mistakes, we do what we're told, we'll be a great team. And we'll, we'll put up a fight against Oaks or Nordoff or any team that we're playing. Well, we look forward to following it on vcspreps.com. He is Case Cookus. He's our player of the game. This has been our VCS Preps post-game extra. Kickoff Friday, St. Bonaventure and Redlands East Valley pregame at 645. Thanks to Case and Thousand Oaks High School. Good night, everybody.